Hi there everyone and welcome back to BRM Driving School. So we've got another one of our little uh, videos today where you might be asked to go on your driving test, what things to be careful of, anything in particular we need to know beforehand. Uh, if you like what you see in the video, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. How are you doing on your driving lessons? In fact, are you wanting a driving lesson with me? I'll leave a link to my Facebook page in the description. Uh, message me on there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so uh, going to be doing uh, a route that goes through Quarry and follows uh, like the route around the hospitals. So uh, going to be dealing with a lot of complex junctions on this one. Uh, it is a traffic signs route, so there'll be no sat nav. So uh, you know, we'll be looking out for signs as we're driving. So I'll just double check my cameras are all good, so they are working. Let's get this one on the road. So a little bit of a miserable day half term isn't it so <laughs> if you're someone that's off school or off college at the moment it's typical isn't it Rain, rains when you have your time off okay so we'll get the car underway no one's around no need to signal okay so test centers on the left you'll be pulling out and turning left and this could be a problem that you have just coming out the test center car park oncoming vehicles stopped at the end so I'm going to go all the way out could have got into this gap here if needed okay so at the end of the road I'm going to be turning right so we have a check right signal slowing it down no pedestrians on the cross and it's pull up on the speed bump looking out for traffic it is actually clear to go don't need to stop so just get it straight out there that's what an examiner will be looking for on your test is for you to make progress when it's safe and appropriate to do so so, going towards the mini roundabout at the end of Holloway and going to be turning right towards the ring road. So, vehicle parking up, so I'm just going to check all my mirrors here, just in case that door flies open. Right signal is on. Slowing it down into second gear, possibly first if needed. I'm looking for traffic really early from the right. I'm going to need first on this one, there's a bit too much traffic. So, let's get after this VW. So doing this one today is, is a uh, traffic signs route. A lot of the routes that I have got already on the channel involve the sat nav. I thought I'd give a little bit of love to the traffic signs because uh, they do exist. About one in, one in every five tests follows the traffic signs, but it's still important to know, you know, what to look out for, things like that. So just waiting at the traffic lights. So the vehicles from the left are going. So I know. The, my light's going to be next, so I'm sort of getting a little bit prepared. As I said, you know, I've looked around, I've seen it's 50. Because as you go down here, there is a complete lack of signs. The signs have actually been stolen. Sometimes you see, like, a post there on the left, nothing on it. And it's all the way down here. Somebody's actually stolen the signs. Um, So I'm just going to move 
set of traffic lights are going to be turning left and towards Headington Quarry. Uh, I think I've got enough time to overtake this van before we get there though. Now there is a lane on the left hand side, you must get into that when you pass the traffic lights. It's something that I've been noticing on quite a lot of lessons where the student, you know, I'm asking them to turn left at these traffic lights, they're almost refusing to get into that lane and sharp steering it left right at the very end. That lane on the left is purposely designed for us to get out of, you know, out of this carriage right, out of the way of traffic and it'll just make your turn a lot easier. to the lights. I'll say when the traffic starts moving I'll put the signal on. If there wasn't so much traffic and it was moving fast I would be signalling a lot earlier but there's no need to do it at this low speed otherwise the signal will be on for a very long time. Okay. So yeah, it seems fairly busy down here but nothing we can't handle. So the lights have gone to green so Sounds prepared. Just checking around, making sure there's no motorbikes coming through the middle. to see it on the forward facing camera you see where that VW's just gone we need to get into that lane and then when you're turning left into Quarry Hollow well I think it I think at that moment it's someone like Beauchamp Road or something Beauch or Beaumont Street something like that it becomes Quarry Hollow um, that left turn as you come off the carriageway is much sharper than what it looks so be aware when you're turning left when you come off this carriageway it looks quite easy it is sharper than what you think see down below so I'm looking down down the road I can see there's a car coming I'm stopping here the road up ahead it's only wide enough for one car so be very careful when you come down here you may have to stop you may have to stop up here as well park cars are all on the other side of the road but very often you'll find oncoming vehicles don't always stop they don't always give way so be ready to stop if necessary now as we pass this van here becomes extremely narrow. It is wide enough for two, but you may need to go into first gear, which is what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to creep it through. Okay, and then at the junction up ahead, it's a staggered crossroad. Follow the road ahead. So I can see it's a stop sign. It's a staggered junction. I've got to move across to the side here. Don't go across in a straight line, otherwise you'll go on the wrong side of the road. So, came to a complete stop, complied with the sign, pulled forward slowly here, looking for vehicles, it's safe to keep going, gone on the left side of that bollard, that's the key bit there, because people go across in a straight line, and they go the wrong side of the bollard, so you must move across and to the left to go round it. Road on the right, so it's just coming up here where those pedestrians. 
pedestrians are. So, check and mirrors, signal right. This speed bump here always gives you a nasty ride. You always be shaken quite violently to the sides. Just taking it easy as I go over. Okay, and now we're going to find a safe place to pull up on the left. So, check mirrors and signal left because there is a car behind me. This looks like a good spot just here. Okay. Right. So now we're going to go on to the independent drive. We're now going to follow those traffic signs that I mentioned. So we're going to start from here. We're going to drive all the way to the end of the road and turn right. Then follow traffic signs for the ring road towards the Midlands. So end of the road right, follow traffic signs for the ring road towards the Midlands. Just keep following, it, keep following those signs until you're told otherwise. Okay, so let's get ourselves ready. So you can see there's a car coming, so I'm just going to prepare myself, but I'm not going to go until they've gone past. Safe after them. So the signal is on for the benefit of those around me. You see there, they, they had no signal on when they're pulling over. How was I meant to know that they were stopping? Sometimes you do see that when uh, people are doing their tests, sometimes just the nerves and the pressure when they're asked to pull over, they forget to put the signal on as they're pulling over. Okay, so parked cars on both sides of the road up here, so just being aware of oncoming vehicles. The vehicle up in front has flashed me, but I am still checking it's safe. Don't treat a flash as a guarantee it's safe to go. Van coming towards me, just going to slow it down. They're going to go around on my right. So there's the end of the road, and we're turning right. So there's two giveaway lines up ahead. If there's nobody waiting at the crossing, pull forward to the second giveaway line. So having a good check. It's quite busy with traffic here. Now there is a, the lane immediately in front of me is a bus lane, so you must pull all the way out on this one. I have seen it before where the person just cleared the bus lane and was driving on the wrong side of the road. Okay, so it's become 30 now. So as we go down this road, I can see way in the distance, I can see there's a sign for roundabout, but I can't see any detail on it yet. I can also see there's a sign for a bus lane just after this crossing. That bus lane is going to play a role in, in what we're going to do up ahead. So bus lane's on the left, so I've got to move slightly to the right up here. So just check in my mirrors. Just going to go slightly to the right here. Okay, so now I can see the sign for the roundabout, the ring road towards the Midlands, first exit left. I mentioned that bus lane. Got to be very careful of it because people see turn off. People see the sign for the ring road towards the Midlands. They move across here. That bus lane just keeps on going. So, like you see there, that car cross has moved over into the bus lane. That would be a fail if, a driving t if it was a driving test. I'm checking my mirrors and signaling left. It's only now I can move across. So, be careful of where that bus lane finishes. Okay, so I'm going to be waiting at these lights for a few moments. So yeah, don't move across too early. I haven't had any of my own students do that on the driving test, but I have heard of other people doing it. They see the sign, they think, okay, I'm turning left, I've got to move across. Yes, you do, but don't do it too early. Okay, so traffic lights turning left. A4, it's the A40 West um, towards the Midlands. When these lights go green, probably won't get through on this first light, but when the light goes green and I turn onto the dual carriageway, it is still 30 until you see a sign tell you differently. Okay, so I'm expecting these lights to go red. They don't stay green for very long, but there we go. Okay. I'm going to be waiting a couple of minutes here at the lights, so I'm just going to use a little bit of magic of editing, just skip out a couple of minutes, and we'll be back when these lights go green. Okay, 
and we're back again so the lights are about to change to green in the next few moments so as I said first exit left at the roundabout the ring road towards the Midlands it is still 30 until you see the sign tell you differently just be aware of that so I'm expecting these lights to change any moment now there we go okay so, so down here so still 30 until we see a sign tell us differently. So, bang on 30 miles an hour at the moment, so I'm expecting possibly this white car to overtake me. So I'm going to check my mirrors and now I can speed up towards that 50 limit. examiner tells you at the beginning they, they say to you always follow the road ahead unless traffic signs tell you otherwise that one I had a no entry sign in front of me I had no choice but to turn left that was my only legal route so the examiner will not tell you to go left at that point you have the responsibility of looking out for the signs and reacting appropriately to them might be asked to go into the car park that's on the left here to do a full park, I'm just going to keep on going. Uh, so you could come in, go in there and then come back out and continue following the signs. You can see there's an ambulance up ahead, so I'm just going to slow it down here, I'm just going to move over to the left. Okay, then just checking, checking all my mirrors, making sure no one's overtaking as the ambulance goes by. Just going to carry on. Okay, and then as we go forward here, I can see the red H on the sign. So it's saying go left and then straight ahead, up ahead. So you've got the traffic lights left at the first set, straight ahead at the second. So check my mirrors, left signal on. So this is all changed in like the last couple of years. It used to be roundabouts here, it's now traffic lights. And then as you're turning left here at these lights, you have to take a very wide turn because the first left that we see is for the shops. It's a good fish and chip shop up there. Just a little tip there. You know, if you fancy a good fish and chips, there's a good one up there. 
Um, so the first left is the shops, the middle one we can see is bicycles only, and then the far one is where we want to go. Okay. So left at these lights, straight ahead at the second that I can see around the corner. You can't see it on the camera, but I can see it from here. waiting here um, we will be given a new direction uh, we're now going to be following the blue H towards the Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre so blue H Nuffield Orthopaedic Centre okay see traffic light behind me's gone red so you might manually change this light to green in a few moments It's gone green, but it doesn't automatically mean go. But the gap is big enough for me to squeeze through. It's very tight, but I'll get through there. London Road they don't realize it's 20 because of how wide it is and then they end up speeding 
So yeah, so take a wider turn than normal to avoid the bus lane. Stay at 20. It is so easily done, the road is so wide. You think you're going so slow, but you will be doing the correct speed limit. Okay, so filter light says it's okay for us to turn. We're gonna take it easy because the puddle, the little splash of pedestrian. So you can see how ridiculously wide this road is. And I'm doing bang on 20 at the moment. This feels so slow. See the cyclist that did just overtake me, uh, I just overtook, was passing me there, so it was safer to let them go through before I moved off. Okay, so if anyone wonders why, you know, instructors say check mirrors, check shoulders before you move off, that is why. I noticed that cyclist was right beside me. If I moved off, it might have caused a bit of a dangerous situation safer thing was just to stay for, you know, just hold for a few moments, let them go by, and then it's perfectly safe to continue. Okay, can hear another ambulance, so just be careful, just try and check where it's coming from. It sounds like it's coming from my right, but I can't see. There it is. It's a really good video to watch. Um, if you haven't seen it already, it's called Blue Light Aware. It's like saying, you know, if you've got an ambulance, anything like that, you know, don't break the law to let an ambulance through. You know, Familiarise yourself with your surroundings, because I can see those vehicles were going through the red light. And I can see the ambulance was coming around, they might wanted to have used that space, I've just left it there for them, which they did end up taking. So that's showing good awareness and planning. Um, but yeah, uh, as I say, watch this video, uh, it's called Blue Light Aware. It tells you what to do if there's like a police car or an ambulance, fire engine, anything like that uh, behind you. It's, it's really worth watching. Okay, so. As we go down this road, uh, we'll be told that'll be the end of the independent driving. The examiner will direct us as normal from now. Okay. So as we go down here, it does become a 30 limit. Obviously, the traffic levels is making it impossible to do that speed. So just drive, you know, always drive at a speed that matches the condition of the road that you're on. Okay. See the car up in front flashed its lights. There might be a reversing vehicle or anything like that. Vehicle on the driveway there. So, so I think that car was trying to flash him out, but As I said, you know, driving to the condition of the road, you're noticing that and keeping quite a good gap to the vehicle in front, not getting too close, wet conditions and all that. It's, you know, you double, your double, double your normal following distance. Uh, dry weather, it's normally about 
two seconds, double it to about four in wet weather. Okay, so traffic is slowing down. I can see there's a junction up ahead, so I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna stop keeping this junction clear. So that's another reason to keep in a good gap to the vehicle in front. If they stop, is there a place where I'm not allowed to stop up ahead? So I'm giving myself more time to have a look, seeing there's a junction, keeping it clear. Message me on there, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to watch the other videos that I've got on my channel, they're all great, they're all help you towards your driving test. And uh, you know, 
maybe you might get this route on your driving test and if you do, I hope you pass. Same for any of the other, other videos I put up. You might get those those ones on your driving test. Hope you part, you know, hope you pass and we hope to see you again next time. Thank <laughs> you.